Hello and welcome back to the Aftermatch. Today we're travelling with the Leicester City supporters up to Merseyside as the Foxes take on the Reds at Anfield. It's Liverpool versus Leicester City. After a less than convincing start to the season, neither team find themselves where they would hope to be in the league table. Liverpool currently sit five points off the top four, so we'll be hoping to head into the new year with the three points and a much smaller gap. And you'd imagine Liverpool's forwards will be raring to go, ready to prove themselves yet again amidst the surprise arrival of Cody Gakpo. However, Leicester's defence has turned the corner recently, well away from home anyway, having kept four consecutive clean sheets on the road, meaning it shouldn't be too easy for the likes of Mo Salah and Darwin Nunez. A lot of the credit for Leicester's defensive resurgence should probably go to new man Woot Faz, who has already established himself as a fan favourite and a linchpin within the Foxes eleven. However, with their other star man James Madison out with injury, it's difficult to tell what Leicester side will turn up today. Can the Foxes make it five away wins in a row, or will their 3-0 Boxing Day defeat to Newcastle prove to be foreshadowing? Either way, it should be a really interesting game tonight, so let's get on the coach and make our way to Anfield. <laughs> So we have finally arrived at Anfield. First, let's go check out the food. Right, now I'll to a bag of review. <laughs> That's a good burger. Uh, I'd give that any out of ten, mate. Right. Liverpool chips. Not good, four out of ten. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with Josh there. The chips aren't great, but oh well. Let's go get our programme and get into the ground. And we're in. And I have to say, this is one of the nicest concourses I've been in. The food and drink prices are pretty good too. And it wasn't long before the place was rocking with chants from the Leicester fans. Now let's get to our seats and get some score predictions from the Leicester lads before kick-off. So as you can see, we're in the ground now. Let's get some score predictions. Leo, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 Leicester. Josh? Um, I'll go 1-1. One, one. I reckon a point would be a good result for us today. Alright, James, give us a score prediction. I'm going for a solid 7-0 win to Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay James, whatever. While well, the game is almost about to commence, who will be claiming their final three points of 2022 tonight? Let's find out. It's time for kickoff. Leicester! 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 
Well, it was all going so well for Leicester after taking the early lead, but we must have jinxed Wootfez earlier on because no one could have predicted what happened next. And that was it. Two own goals from Wootfaz was enough to put Liverpool ahead before the break and eventually seal the win. So uncharacteristic from him as he's usually so strong in that back line. Both teams continued to attack and create chances but to no avail. Harvey Barnes' effort that crashed into the bar was as close as the Foxes came to equalising but even that was offside. Despite the win, I think Klopp will be asking questions of his attackers today, as out of a total of 21 shots, only 5 were on target. Neither team played amazingly, but Liverpool probably had the edge and deserved the win in the end. Unfortunately for Leicester, their little away win streak has come to an end, but losing to Liverpool at Anfield isn't something to be too ashamed of, and I think the fans realised that as they continued to back the players after the full-time whistle. <laughs> However, after last week's defeat to Newcastle and another loss today, Brendan Rodgers' side do need to be careful that they don't slip back into the same rut they were in earlier this season. Anyway, thank you for watching. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment if you did and we'll be back very soon.